We're going? Yeah, we're going. Okay. Uh, welcome again to Keeping It... Keeping It Serial. Um, and we're doing another episode because for some reason y'all wanted it. So y'all gonna get it. That's what we covered. Serial's backwards. What? All right, I forgot we don't we lost the paper last time that had that had the thing. So it's keeping Oh, this is hard to write because I'm not I'm looking at the camera. There's not enough room for a key. Okay. There, right, keeping it cereal. So I'm be tasting three brand new cereals today, local crunch and uh, this it's, chocolate berry crunch. That's that's two cereals. And donuts. Okay, we have a couple of uh, bowl bowl options for this this year's episode. We have the Terminator 2 3D mug from Universal. It doesn't run anymore. It was a gift from a friend. The the ride doesn't. This is about cereal. Then we have I love my cat. Now we have multiple cats, so that's a wine cup. I don't know about that. We've got a Street Fighter wine because there should have been a Street Fighter cereal. We have this. It's in the shape of a rutabaga and eggplant. I don't know. Then we have a McMuscles branded bowl. We might we might be using this. I'm not sure. Oh god. Cereal. And we have our spoon selection. I'm gonna go with this one to piss y'all off. I'll go with the big one. And now we have the hero, hero, the hero of breakfast. Silk Creamy Cashew, it's back, and it's what I'm gonna be using. Oh, don't at me! Actually, really don't, because I'm just, I'm using like this 1% actually today. 1% is as much as I'll go. It's organic, bi bionic. You can see this bionic organic cow really enjoys that I'm drinking from it. To, oh God, milk is weird sometimes when you think about it. So we're gonna taste the possibilities, or if you're German, goûtez les possibilités. See, I hear you snickering. <laughs> yeah, not on camera, but yes, yeah, it's, it's super stupid, isn't it? So our first uh, cereal on the block today is Post Presents New Hostess Donut Cereal. Powdered mini donuts, because I guess it wasn't, you know, evident enough what the hell this was. Oh, hold on. Okay, Hostess Donuts, Powdered, powdered Mini Donuts. So uh, this is of the Hostess Dynasty. You guys know that they, they're like the little Debbies of snack cakes. Uh, Hostess has has lots of stuff. Do they are they the ones that make um, Twinkies? I'm not sure. I think they do. Hostess. This is powdered mini donut. So I'm assuming there's going to be some type of powdery texture on these, because why else would they exist, really? Let's look at the back of the box here. We have the the back of the box has the front of the box on the, the back of the box. So this is advertising the cereal on the cereal. Mini donuts bring mega smiles. Um, so for smile culture, uh, this is pretty good because Hostess Donuts cereal turns an all-time snack favorite into a cereal bowl friendly treat. We took everything you love about Hostess registered donuts registered fresh cake fresh baked cakey goodness with a delicious super fine coating of powdered sugar. I knew it. Try a bowl of Hostess trademark donuts trademark cereal. A delicious way to make every day a little sweeter. There's another random bowl of strawberries. I'm getting increasingly concerned about the strawberry agenda they're pushing. It's actually a box from Liam. Liam ate a bunch of them. This is legit. He ate a bunch of them and said, can I just give you the box I've eaten from? I don't want to buy another. I was like, all right, asshole. <laughs> so smell test. Let's let's get in there. Um, it, it has a very vanilla-y flavor. Very potent, actually. Not wholly unpleasant. I wouldn't kick that smell out of bed if my bed smelt like that. All right, here we go. We'll use big Skullamania over here. Uh, I bet that Skull's loving this. He's in this donut orgy all over his face. That's a life worth leading. All right, but see, it's the 1% milk. Okay, this isn't really working. I'm kind of a moron. Um, Take out uh, my spoon goons, and uh, let's give this a go. Hmm. That... 
That is not bad. Okay, so um, these mini donuts, they do kind of have a powdered texture on them. It's actually quite pleasant. It doesn't make it slimy or anything. It's got a good crunch too. It's not too crunchy. It's not too soft and soggy. Um, and yeah, they're quite nice. They're, they are a little sugary. They're, they are a little on the kill you side, but unlike the donut shop, which was pink and made you feel like it was bursting with like feminine flavor, it was not. This, however, does taste a little bit like powdered donuts, and I have to give it props for that. Okay, so I give Hostess Post Presents New Donuts trademark powdered cereal. Um, it's very solid. I, I think I'm going to give it a... Yeah, good stuff, host shit. So here we go, our first appearance of the Captain on Keeping It Cereal, and we have limited edition Captain Crunches Chocolatey Berry Crunch. It's sweet and corn and oat cereal. Um, it's two great flavors. And you can see here the captain is playing some sort of Dr. Moreau style character. Um, a mad scientist, if you will. Um, he's very unsure of what he's doing himself. He's putting these red berry-like shapes in with what looks like regular Captain Crunch, but just in a chocolatey flavor. He's not sure if kid children will die due to this, but, I mean, it's worth a go. This is limited edition, so don't expect to see this in stores for much longer. They might have already been outlawed, I don't know. Here we have Decadence. If you like the taste of chocolate, love this crumb. Who knows how long this chocolatey, berry-licious treat will last. So get your hands on a bowl very fast. Chocolatey Berry Crunch as a great topping on vanilla pudding, mocha latte, ice cream, and yogurt. So they're giving you some vague, you know, uh, uh, cooking directions. Um, don't tell me what to fucking do. Chocolatey Berry Word Search. So here are some words to describe chocolatey berry, appetizing, succulent, delicious, satisfying, supple, tender, and turgid. And make special mention of this, did they really think they needed to put naturally and artificially flavored, like, scrawled in a tattoo on... That looks like he's been working for Umbridge, and she had him write out these words again and again, and it etched itself on his head. Are you okay, Captain? Also, special shout out to the fan at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo who gave me this cereal. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Okay, we have a smell test. Mmm, it actually smells quite nice. It does smell a little bit like berries with, with a whiff of chocolate undertones. I could Quarantina wear that as a perfume? Alright, here we go. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Oh, it's a lot of red. That's a lot of red berries in there. Um. So I don't know if this is going to make any sense, but red is not a flavor I expect to see in artificial food. Like, it's a natural thing for, like, fruits or vegetables or maybe red meat. But when I see red, that bright neon red in a cereal bowl, I feel a little weird. These look like they're from the human body. I'm a little concerned. There's my milk lad. Okay, I think that's good. All right, all right. Hey, I want to get... E oh, fuck. Okay, okay. So, as you can expect from Le Capitaine, um, very nice crunch to these. Uh, maybe a little bit softer and chewier than regular Captain Crunch. Um, it's very crispy in the mouth. It, it kind of falls apart, but there's a satisfyingness that only the Captain can provide. It doesn't taste too sweet at all, which is nice. There's just like a gentle, subtle, like waxing of, of sweetness around them. It's not too bad. The flavors of berry and chocolate, not really there. They're very, very light, so if you're expecting it to be bursting with flavor, it's not quite there, but it's still very pleasant to eat. You could bring this cereal home to mom and date it, whatever you want. Have your mom take a bite. Everyone just gorge it. The captain has had some fucking failures in his life, but he keeps fucking trying. I'm still recording now. This tastes like something familiar. You said that about everything. So, for the upper 1% of society, this is a really great seal because it's so decadent. Limited edition. I think this is a success. It's limited edition, so I don't think they'll make this, like, a long-running line. But it's a nice diversion on the palate. It's a classy cereal. I'm going to give this another solid... We have this big mamma jamma the family size of Mocha Crunch. So I don't think this is in stores anymore. Again, it's another limited edition. General Mills trying some shit, but 
Check mark. No high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavors, and no colors from artificial sources. So, bets are that this isn't going to be very good. But I like the idea. Who doesn't want to eat Mocha Crunch? Every time I show this off to my friends who don't ask to see it, they're always blown away. And on the back, I guess because this is more of a highbrow cereal for the adults, um, you got like make it a mocha morning. Breaking news and make it mo buy mocha crunch. Here's a crossword puzzle. There's some Sudoku. A Sudoku. All right, so this cereal, I've had it for a while. It doesn't smell good. Fortune favors the bold, right? It looks like dog food. I hope it tastes as good as dog food. <laughs> it's a little crunchy. Maybe a bit too crunchy. Hmm. So, Mocha Crunch, what do you think? You thought nothing. Um, it's interesting. It has hints of coffee, like really black coffee. And usually, Diane, I love a good black coffee, but it doesn't quite work here. There's kind of a mix of chocolate there. Just get down, just get down. You contributed nothing. <laughs> this kind of seems like a missed opportunity to do something more interesting than just mocha. Because at the end of the day, that's just chocolate, yeah? So, um, it's not very appetizing to look at. It's like a fucking rabbit just went to town inside my bowl. Not a fan of how it looks. Uh, crunchy wise, it's kind of weird. I don't know. It might have to do with the fact that this box is like four months old, past its expiration date, but still I maintain not the best. So in terms of an overall rating for Mocha Crunch, mmm, gotta give it points for doing something neat, but I'm um, gonna have to slap it with a... Uh... That's all the main cereals um, my stomach can take today, uh, but I'd like to introduce a brand new segment to keep in its cereal called Break Fast. Break Fast. So keep in its cereal, we're gonna break fast now. Yeah, break fast. This is the hard hitting news section of the show. And we're gonna break into the big actual stories that are happening with breakfast cereal. I'm serious about So what's happening in the cereal world today? Well, one thing, actually. I don't need a whole segment for this, but regardless, uh, thanks to the blog Seriously, link in the description, um, they let us all know that uh, March 7th, this coming Thursday, is National Cereal Day. So what's happening on National Cereal Day? Probably not a lot other than people using the hashtag National Cereal Day on Twitter or whatever, but I do know that certain cereals are coming up specifically on that day. I think in Walmarts, maybe some Targets, cereals such as this one. Can you believe it? And then there's this one too. Yeah, breakfast! Break fast! Alright, so that's it for today's episode of Keeping It Cereal. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we had a good time with some of these. Um, but yeah, no guests anymore. Uh, I'm gonna probably... Uh, um... Oh, you're here! Hey. Hi there. Alright, Real Rocky. Um, what, what would you like to taste? Any of these? I mean, I already tasted them. Do you, do you, do you got anything? Or... I'm thinking this one right here. Okay, well... You are magically delicious yourself. Rocky, now this is, this is Frosted Flakes Cross Lucky Charms, or Lucky Charms Cross Frosted Flakes, if, if you so prefer. What are you expecting out of this, sir? Uh, I'm expecting it to be like when you have those cereals where at the end, you're at the end of a cereal, yep. you have nothing left, you just pour whatever's left and then you're just like gonna open a new cereal and mix it together. Okay, what do we feel about the back of the box? Uh, now there's a chart. There's sometimes now this is from Johnny. He gave me this cereal actually. Guess what, Rocky? This isn't Rocky's box of cereal. Mm -hmm. There's like a, the chart of the elements back here. Mm-hmm. This is a lot of math. All right, smell test time, motherfucker. You will get the first smell. Thank you. Actually, that. That smells kind of weird. Like it doesn't smell like Lucky Charms. You know when Lucky Charms get that that really sugary smell that's coming up. Mm-hmm. It just smells like corn. Does flakes. it smell like a girl? No. Damn it! Take a look inside. There's very little mu uh, mushrooms. I was about to say marshmallows. They just took like a handful of marshmallows and they just threw them in there. That's uh, that's a little disappointing already. I don't know. 
Oh, I just balloons. That's a lot of... Okay, that's... You're going to... Mm, I guess we'll be sharing this tonight in like a Lady and the Tramp style way. I'm not sure how you do that with cereal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. You want to see a little bit of, of the Milky Lake form. Did you use 1% milk? Yes. Why? Well, it was either this or cashew milk. I'm... Okay, no, yeah. One so percent. drink the milk! Yeah, give it a try. I want to get some marshmallows in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, he's getting some. Yeah. I don't know. It looks way too flaky. So you want to describe what you're feeling with a few words off the bat. And then you think about it a bit later, and then you give a more detailed response. I'm disappointed. Oh. I'm a little bit disappointed. Damn it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, wait till you try it. No, you get one more. I get one more. more. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you don't seem to be enjoying it. Mm. All right, now a now more thought-out response. Okay, well... It kind of feels like I'm eating Frosted Flakes with more sugar in it. I don't taste the marshmallows in it at all. Shit. I feel like you're going to have to put in a lot more of those marshmallows. Okay. One last one. Just one last one. because Okay. I feel like, like, I'm actually not tasting them at all. I don't know, man. It's not uh, my thing. It's not my thing. Uh, oh, wait. No. There's an hourglass. You need it before the Dahaka can get me. <laughs> okay. I guess that's good enough. I haven't had Frosted Flakes in a long time. Like, at least, like... Five, ten years. Because <laughs> I, I stay away from it. That doesn't taste what I remember Frosted Flakes tasting like to, uh, to me. I agree. It tastes a little bit different. It tastes like a weird knockoff cereal that's neither Lucky nor <laughs> Tony. Very and that's good. fucked up. Why marshmallow cereals are good, this is important, are because there's like a corn or like flavorless element to it. Like for Lucky Charms, it's All like right. the little bitty shapes. That's right. And like for any marshmallow cereal, it's like that. When you have two sugary elements, neither win the war. Oh, preach. It's just like this, like like the indestructible force versus the unmovable object. <laughs> they crash and then <laughs> nothing happens. And ever, nobody wins. Does Kellogg's own both? Uh, General, Frost Mills. Is, General Mills is for sure Lucky Charms. Kellogg's, I think, is not uh, General Mills. Kellogg's is uh, Frosted Flake. How come Tony's not on the box? How come it's all Lucky? <laughs> yeah. Did he kill the tiger? So, so what do you give uh, Lucky Charms cross Frosted Flakes? Uh, is it a number? We have to give a number. No, you got to make a noise. Uh, like is that, that the noise? Yeah. It's lucky, you're really lucky that your country gave me OSW reviews. Because otherwise, I'd be furious with this. All right, it's time for you to go now. Okay. You're all done with you. All right, but didn't okay. you say we're going to play some Street Fighter? No, we're not. No, no, no. Jeez, Just get my shoes No, on. no, no see. time for shoes. Uh, all right. Get out. Bye. 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 <laughs> He's so goddamn handsome. Got to get him out of here. Makes me look bad! So that's it for this episode's uh, episodes of Keeping It Serial. Thank you to Rocky for showing up. Thank you to Crime Tina. And of course, my little help is Echo. Okay, you don't give a shit. Let me know in the comments whether cereals you'd like me to eat. Um, and you can send some at the address below. Which I still don't have a P.O. box for. But I'm doing fine with cereals. I got, I got some more coming. Make another trip to the States. Don't eat it. It's bad, baby. It's bad.